Okay, so let's um, analyze this uh, same paper process again, but this time we're going to look for the crossover temperature. So remember, just like what we were saying, whenever the um, signs are the same for entropy and enthalpy, right, we can find a crossover temperature. So what does the crossover temperature mean again, guys? Where the reaction goes from what to what? Spontaneous to non-spontaneous. Yeah, very good. Spontaneous to non-spontaneous. So that's what we're going to figure out right now. What is that crossover temperature? Okay? So temperature crossover equals what? What's up here? Change H. Delta H or enthalpy. And down here? Delta S or entropy. Okay? But notice these units, right? are not the same unit, so we're going to have to convert either joules to kilojoules or kilojoules to joules. What what temperature units would we be expecting this to be in? Kelvin. Kelvin. Okay, so let's think about that and um, put this all together. So I'm just going to convert joules to kilojoules. Okay, so at the top I put negative 92.2 kilojoules. And then I divide that by negative 199 joules per 1 Kelvin. And then again, I, like I said, I want to convert that to kilojoules. So 1,000 joules. Is everybody okay with me doing that? Okay, wonderful. Let's cancel out our units. So, joules cancel with joules there. Kilojoules cancel with kilojoules there. And if I have one divided by something divided by something else, like Kelvin here, that Kelvin's going to go up to the top. Remember that. Okay? So, um, and it's a good thing we have a negative there and a negative there because temperature here cannot be what kind of numbers? Negative, negative numbers. So they've got to have to cancel out. Why can't they be negative numbers? Kelvin. 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 Always positive. Okay? Kelvin is always positive. So let's just plug and chug now. So I'll do I do like to do the bottom first. So one divided by thousand. And then say ninety two point two divided by that answer. And three sig figs, three sig figs, so our answers to three sig figs. So I got 463 Kelvin. Okay? And then, of course, if it asks you to convert it to degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit, you know how to do that already. Okay? So are there any questions about this? Huh? Wait, what did we just say about negative? It has to be positive. It has to be positive. Okay, any more questions? Okay, wonderful.